In 2024, there's a new trend going around between these big streamers on traveling the world. Kai Sinet going to Jamaica, Aiden Ross and Ray going to Jamaica as well, getting Anakana dopes uh, grinding on them and them getting lost in the sauce. We have your fellow Arab going in Heishi, trying to be besties with the, the most dangerous gang leader in Heishi named Barbecue. We got Aisha Speed who randomly just pops up out of nowhere, barks at people. And last night he barked at Randy Orton in WWE and Randy Orton not only RKO'd him in a prime suit, he also barked at him. That was very satisfying and I'm definitely sure speed is going to cherish that for the rest of his life and for today's main topic of the day neon and sam frank first going to philippines and then making their way to dubai this video came out last night where it says neon and his girlfriend were allegedly detained and taken to the police station in dubai now we all know drama's alert history kim stars history with over dramatic things over spicing things to make everything dramatic and they said this story is still developing they're trying to find what exactly happened to them ids okay put the camera down down okay or get off all cameras are off i just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys i'm really sorry now to give you a little bit of context about the situation neon reached dubai he's been collabing with other influencers he's been hanging out with people he's been taking sam to nice dinners and streaming all of it now this place that they went to it's called global village and in certain places like this you need a permit for professional cameras and microphones that you're you're gonna carry with you now the laws in dubai is way different than the western world you cannot film anyone even if they're in the background you can get sued for hundreds and thousands of dollars how do i know this i've been living here in dubai for the past 24 years i've been in the united arab emirates and a lot of people are coming out in this situation and saying that it's probably because of the way that she is dressed because if you search up on Google, it's going to pop up that, you know, in Dubai, you should wear like hijab, you should wear cover up even the shoulders cover. It's not like that. Now, yes, you cannot wear a club outfit and go to the masjid. That's just very disrespectful. But you are free to wear whatever you want as long as the, the you know, the private parts are covered. So I can tell you with full confidence that the reason they are stopped is because someone reported them that they are filming people without permission, without having a permit. They are streaming it live. And since they're huge, this is going to be an issue since they don't have a permit. And there's going to be a lot of people who do not want to be on camera. They are going to be on the background. Now, this situation could have been solved very easily by just turning off the camera and talking to the police officer because they just want to check your ID, check the situation. And it's not a big deal if these things happen. You're just going to, you know... Uh, put the camera down, talk through it. My first time, I don't understand. They're probably going to be nice about the situation and let you go. But since Sam said, stop recording and said to the police officer, I'm sorry, uh, we are not recording any part of this. The cameras are all off and then this video goes, goes on the internet. Even if they're being held in the police station and the police go on the internet and watch this video, this is bad for them lying to a police officer and filming a police officer without their permission these are two serious crimes now i know you saw a lot of like lamborghinis g-wagons as a police car in dubai and a lot of people filmed them and put them on the internet but just remember those are for you to see those lamborghini svjs are just parked there for a fashion show they are there to take pictures of it is all part of marketing the city but filming an actual police officer on duty it is not okay if we can't film it it's a problem we can we can just leave if that's a but the people, the people, the people guest uh, services said we're okay. If it's not okay, we can leave. We don't we want the, problems. We go to the office and after the after you take it. Okay. Give me all let's. your ID. So I understand that um, it's not official, yeah, right? We want to jail. No, no, everything's okay. So we can leave. No, we will go to the. I will follow him. To where? Where are we going? Uh, I believe we will go to in police station. <sighs> Don't worry, nothing will be happening. Now, just right now, I found this other footage of uh, Neon Updates who posted on Twitter saying Dubai police tried to scam Neon for $1,000. Thank you guys so much. 
Thank you. After you're making money. So once you're going, you're blessed also. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can go in as far as I want? Dab me up. I got you, brother. All right, all I got right, you. All right. I'm here with him for Yo. I just caught him. I just caught us. Now, as you obviously can see behind his jacket, it says the security, but Neon being the, the famous, the lord of clickbaiting, he puts Dubai police. And if Dubai police sees this, anyone on the internet sees this and reports this to them, they're going to be in a very huge problem for making the government and the police force look bad. This is a huge deal, which is going to lead to heavily heavy fines. And bro has to give all his donations and subscriptions and he's still not going to be able to pay the fines. And then he also is going to be imprisoned if they find out about this. Now, this is the part before the police got involved that the security reached out to them and said, do you have a permit or not? Do you have any permit for... Uh, yes, we do. It's okay. manually permit. They just submitted us now. I don't have it. They just Please said to let the WhatsApp. entire security... They have my passport. They're like minions, bro. They're just spawning. This is ridiculous. Your superior already let us go, sir. I promise you we're okay. Can you please stop me? Huh? No, we have a permit, sir. We're okay. Their permit was at the gate. They asked the security guard, can we film, please? And the security was like, okay, okay. The first security guard. And then others reached out. And since they were declining to turn off the stream, turn off all the lights that was on them, that's when the police got involved and they've been taken to a police station. There still has not been no updates, but I will keep you updated if anything happens. There's a very small chance of them getting arrested and going to jail but there will be consequences for them filming the police and lying to them when they said they're not filming now what did we learn from this video if you're a streamer and you come to dubai you need permits to film in places like this but if, if you like only use your phone and you don't use any flashlights it's kind of fine you can get away with it but if you're using a, a sony xv e 10 z e and using like flashlights and a big mic on it or you're using mics like that you're definitely going to be stopped and you're going to be investigated on where your permit is so i just wanted to come through and just clear this up tell you about what's happening i'll keep you updated if anything uh, comes on if you're still bored you want to watch more videos we have two here click on one of these take care i'll catch you at the next one